Look, you know, when someone dies, you kind of want to say something nice, but I can't say a fucking good word about Pat Robertson. What an awful man. I wonder uh, what your take was going to be on that. When I saw that, I was I mean, like, whoa, how is Howard going to handle this? You're not, not going to find one good thing to say? I'm struggling, man. I'm trying to find <laughs> something good to say about this fucking guy. But boy, oh boy, was he just a monstrous animal filled with hate and filth. I mean, uh, you know, Baptist minister, conservative uh, Christian broadcaster, Pat Robertson. So he was 93, he died. And he presented himself as a man of God, but just said such hateful and insane things on his TV show, The 700 Club. I mean, uh, I mean, crazy thing. I, you know what? Look. You have your beliefs, but I mean, but also crazy shit. And uh, you know, he's one of those guys who made a tremendous amount of money getting old ladies to pledge 10 bucks a month. At one point in his show, his books and videos were bringing in more than $300 million a year. God bless. Amazing. Here's a, uh, Amazing. So here's a montage of some of the fucking wacky shit he used to say. What is this mac and cheese? Is that a black thing? Can demonic spirits attach themselves to, to uh, inanimate objects? The answer is yes. Satan is real. Demonic power is real. Demon possession is real. You might get AIDS in Kenya. The people have AIDS. You got to be careful. I mean, the towels can have AIDS. Something happened a long time ago in Haiti. They got together and swore a pact to the devil. They said, we will serve you if you'll get us free from the French. I do think the earth is, is hurtling toward some final conclusion. We all feel that. Oh, it did for him. We uh, all feel that. Yeah, we all. There's this we. There's this like he, um, like he'd he'd wait for a real big tragedy, like nine eleven, and rub his hands together and go. Feminism led women to witchcraft and uh, lesbian equality and abortion, and then you know, and then it would be like, oh, that's why we were punished with nine eleven. You know, like like equating a, a terrible tragedy with his view of the world and. You know, like homosexuality destroys entire civilizations, and that's why. You know, you know like, like, uh, come on, man, you don't know anything. You know, Lee, I'm a little sad to see this great nation of ours go the way that it is. We're going to have a month to celebrate gay, lesbian, transgender pride month. Somebody's proud of being transgendered. Yeah. <laughs> It's a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of our population. One to two percent uh, has this particular orientation, and yet they dominate, dominate the news. It's just simply amazing. But, um, you know, any country that openly embraces homosexuality through the history of mankind has gone down into ruin. That's, that's history. That's the historical record. This fact. Whatever a nation embraces this so-called lifestyle, uh, it ends up in the garbage heap of history. So Even, uh, let's watch what happens. Every time a dick touches a butthole, someone <laughs> gets struck by lightning in this country. I don't know if you realize, but that's fact. That's fact. You can look it up. That lightning has hit everyone who's uh, uh, put his penis inside a man's ass. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, you can sit there and giggle with that little charming giggle, but that's the truth. All right, it's, Pat. Did you see last week? On this show, J.D. and Chris had a smooch. Yeah. And, and did you notice that the skies over Manhattan turned red? <laughs> now, you go ahead and laugh all you want, but this is what God is doing to us. Our skies were red because of this sinful kiss between two men, J.D. Harmeyer and Chris Wilding. And how do you know that? How do you know that? Because it says it in the Bible. Now, uh, that's a fact. <laughs> and I tell you this, and I hope they're listening, J.D. and Chris, you will have plenty of time to smooch when you're burning in hell for all eternity. And believe me, these uh, Canadian fires were started by gay Canadian farmers uh, rubbing their penises together in the woods as they do. I looked up at the sky over Manhattan, and do you know the smoke cloud was in the shape of a giant penis? <laughs> it's huge. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess I will miss doing my impression of Pat. Yes, uh, yes, there won't be any more quotes like that. Yeah. 